Hi all, this is Martin and welcome to our little mini-series around verb extensions. So I've been asked by a lot of people to do a couple of videos around the classical verb extensions I'm using. There, there is hundreds out there, right? And um, I, I'm not saying that the ones I'm using may be working for you, um, but the ones I have come across over the years and, and which I use on a regular basis, I'm going to present them to you in a, in, in a little video mini series. Okay. So the first one today we are going to look at has to do with JSON, right? So JSON web tokens, basically, um, you come over to the extension and it's not the JSON web tokens. Actually, it's called the chart editor. So, um, JWT editor is the extension. And if you want to look it up in the, in the BAP store, you will find it here as well. If you just search for chart, JWT, you come up with the JWT editor, right? And it's basically, um, a very, very useful tool. If you're dealing with any authentication in regards to JSON web tokens, because it makes your life a lot easier. If you go over to, to those actual keys, like once you have installed the extension, it will appear like this. And then here you can simply, you know, like generate a symmetric key and, and a public private key and so forth. And you will use them for various different attack scenarios against JSON web tokens. But what is really nice is like, let's go to proxy history, right? Like, so I've, I've only loaded like this lab here from, from Portsbrigger. So if I go to my account and I, and I log in with the credentials I've been given, then see what happens next when you come back over here to, um, to your burp history, you will see the color has changed and the color has changed for a reason because it shows you now, um, that there is effectively a JSON web token present, right? Like it was generated after this post request, as you can see this here. So it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a nice color visualization basically. And then it, the, the cookie was set basically, which is the JSON web token. And then on the next request, it's being sent along with the request to prove that I'm authenticated. But the real beautiful thing about it is if you, if I send this to the repeater, you will see that you have another um, tab up here in the, in, in the request, which is basically called JSON web token. And that allows you like to modify, first of all, to read it, you can go to a website like short uh, jwt.io or something and do the same thing, but it's much easier because you get the view directly in Burp, right? Like for example, um, you can change here, you can change like the, the username on the fly like this. So I change Wiener to administrator and then for example, I can, I can, I now have like different options like attack. I can run basic attacks like a non signing algorithm attack, or I can and, uh, embed the JSON web key or something or an HMAC key confusion attack. I can do this right from here, right? So I simply say like signing algorithm none. And then you see like it's basically strips off the signature. You can always go back to raw as well, like this. And if I now would browse to, to the admin account, I potentially should have access and I do have access, right? Like, um, but what I, what I really want, want you guys to see here is like how, how nice, um, this whole, uh, JSON web token, um, plugin is basically right. Because you can do a lot of things. You then later on when, when you generate your own keys and you want to trick the server by verifying your public key or something like this, you can basically sign it as well. Like once you have signing keys, you need to generate them here first, but it makes life a lot easier. And so I highly recommend this. It's free. It doesn't cost anything and it speeds, speeds up your testing process significantly. Okay. That's it for today's video. Thank you very much.